It began with a conversation at a after party during the 2018 Adelaide Festival. So that's when I met Andrew um, from the engineering department. We got chatting at the party and worked out who's in engineering and I'd been fascinated with the idea of 3, 3D printing a violin. Julian and my manager Andrew Heathershaw sort of approached me and said, oh, you know, we're thinking of doing a violin. Is that going to be achievable? I look at some of the files and the shapes weren't too ridiculously complex. In, initially it probably took maybe four hours of CAD, then probably about like, three and a half days straight worth of printing, um, and then about seven or eight hours of cleanup and sanding back and assembly. And I assembled everything to the point where we had the body and the neck and the, sort of the tin rest on, and then Julian came back and did everything to make it a violin, put the strings on, add in the bridge and tune it all up. You can tell by the look of it, it's got the same dimensions as a violin and it looks like a violin. It's quite a lot heavier than a normal violin because of the plastic, um, there's a lot more plastic in it. Once he sort of, he was happy with the tuning and started playing tunes, I was jumping up and down with excitement. He was, he was playing some of my favourite tunes. But I quite like the idea. Um, I don't think it replaces the violin. I think the violin is, has had about three or four hundred years of evolution behind it. And this, this just takes it on a different strand and, and that's a completely valid thing and something worth exploring.